Hello, I'm Fantastic and Fantastic, and today I want to talk about the 10 Magic Stones Seasonal Super God Fest, which has just gone live in North America. So, I am personally a huge fan of Seasonal Super God Fest because it gives the chance for us players to acquire rare, top rarity seasonal cards alongside of various God Fest exclusives, and it tends to have reasonably strong rolling rates. One of the biggest issues with seasonal events is that the vast majority of the rolling pool is comprised of junk. Like, you roll in it, most of the stuff that comes out are terrible, and you may want a monster exchange or just hopefully pray you roll those good stuff. Now, with Seasonal Super Godfist, they tend to cost 10 magic stones, which is obviously a bit on the pricier side, but in the case of this one here, there's a 43.5% chance to acquire any of the goodies. And when I say goodies, I mean any of the various seasonal cards and Godfest exclusives featured, because Godfest exclusives can at least be converted into trade fodder to acquire cards that you would not have necessarily been able to roll. On the other hand, if you directly roll one of these seasonal cards that you were hoping to get, well, you are going to save yourself tremendous amounts of trade fodder. And in the case of this seasonal Super God Fest, it features Valentine's Alina, New Year's Latina at the 9 star. There is Christmas Tamadro, but we're going to kind of forget that they exist because they are just terribly underwhelming. But with Valentine's Alina, she is an incredibly strong dark sub, and Lutina, I'm a big fan of. Great absorption solution in blue form, wonderful cleric solution in their light TPA form, and wonderfully strong weapon assist at the same time. In addition to that, Kami, or New Year's Kami, is going to be featured, and for anyone who's played any red brick blobbing Shiva Dragon style teams, you're going to notice that virtually every single team out there tends to include Kami in some way, shape, or form, and it'd be nice if you can get your own. Now, she is reasonably inexpensive to monster exchange for, but hey, maybe if you roll her here, you're going to save yourself a bunch of trade fodder. In addition to that, they will feature like various 8-star Godfest exclusives, 7-star and 6-stars. But point of the matter is, I think the rolling rates are actually pretty solid. Like 43.5% chance for any of these goodies, so to speak, tends to be quite nice. Obviously, you can discredit a bit of value for like Christmas Tamadra and maybe like Senri because like I'm not a huge fan of Valentine's Senri, but like it's rare. Who knows? Maybe Gung Ho will buff these rare seasonal cards. Point of the matter is, I think this is a respectable event to roll in, especially if you are missing the seasonal cards. Now, if you have no interest in Lutina or Kami or. Ugh. <coughs> Kami, like, blah, blah. Yeah, if you're not interested in any of the seasonal cards, then, well, you can essentially skip this. But if you are someone who doesn't have these cards, their monster box is not necessarily, like, swimming in trade fodder, this can be a reasonably good event because you might ace out and nail one of the superstar roles that you actually want to acquire. But, again, Godfest exclusive are never a bad thing, and 43.5% chance, I think, is respectable overall. Now, that being said, let me know what you, ladies and gentlemen, think about this event in the comments section down below. Do you think it's actually worth rolling in? And if you did roll in it, did you actually get something meaningful? Regardless of all that, hopefully all you lovely ladies and gentlemen out there have a truly fantastic day. I wish you best luck in your own pad adventures, and happy puzzling.